Panelized Podcast, Kyle here with a very congested Pierre. It's me, I'm back. So not only is Pierre back, but so are Windows. Is this an ad again? Are no, you selling not something else not. now? What are you selling? <laughs> Remember we said, oh, look, they're changing the Marvel Legend packaging. And I was like, no, those are retro. And then I was like, huh, maybe you're right, because it seems like they're retroing a lot of figures. Hasbro's officially announced 2024 Windows are back. Brand new packaging. Mm. Plastic's back. You're going to see the figure. Fuck the environment. Fuck the turtles. Yeah. Fuck you and your paper straws. Their sales. That's 100% sales. They Had saw their sales went down and they said, fuck it do you think the cardboard boxes are going to become like more rare 20 years from now it's like oh you have a cardboard box wolverine because they did it for like such a short term i would say no just because all of those figures that didn't sell well they'll probably change very very slightly and re-release them with a window which is also something you said was going to happen yeah, yeah i'm not wasting my money on any more figures because it feels like now they're just trying to like pump us and take our money that's why i recently learned with the mcfarlane like the gold label you're paying more and i could never figure out what the difference was and supposedly more detail yeah i can't do that how many mandalorian figures can i buy yeah. i haven't bought any mind you like if you're a collector you're right and you're like oh mm. sweet i bought the first mandalorian figure and then they're like but wait there's 20 more it's like all right so like what does that do to your value so i think now like keeping in a box and everything just doesn't matter none of it matters Motor. i got burned on funkos recently remember i showed you i ordered what was it eight of the batman beyond funko pop of him flying mm. not to be confused with the model that came out six months before of him kneeling so there was a chase with the flying one so i bought a ton to try and get the chase and they just canceled my order didn't even give me one just canceled the whole order and everything was gone sold out i recalled this for some reason last night i was like oh let me go look on ebay maybe i could just pick it up for like 50 bucks i'll get the regular and the chase the chase is going for like 150 dollars, and there's only a few on ebay wow the regular is going for like 30 bucks needless <laughs> to say kyle bought the batman beyond chase not figure. yet <laughs> i'm stalling to try and win it in auction but i will absolutely be purchasing it and it's just clear like it's not anything crazy oh and now they're making mini funko pops which of course i pre-ordered some at least they were batman like the animated so i was like all right let me grab them i have one on my desk spider-man with like the infinity gauntlet speaking of spider-man did you see spider boy again <laughs> This is exactly how I feel about what they're doing with action figures. They're just taking our money. We're going to pump out a bunch of bullshit and you're going to like it. And yeah. you bought it. I know you bought it. No, I didn't buy Spider Boy. I didn't. I skipped it. I've seen Dan Slott make a character worth money. I'm talking about Silk. This one is not going to be it because I've also seen Dan Slott make a character who never was seen again. <laughs> I don't know if you remember Alpha. You ever see him? No, I can't he, recall. He was Spider-Man's sidekick who Spider-Man accidentally made into a super powered person in a lab. What is the origin of Spider-Boy? I don't know because I didn't buy it or read it, but I promise you it's Peter Parker's fault, just like Alpha. So this is 100% going to be Dollar been in the next six months i think we're done with the spider verse like adding new characters that are going to be worth yeah. it there's so many I that just, are good how can you possibly pollute it further i did just watch the spider-man trailer i liked it a lot very high hopes i don't think it'll be as good as the first because you can't really beat that but it looks good and the fact that spider-man 2099 is kind of the villain is a twist i wasn't expecting and seems yeah. to really work from the trailer and then oh, he's yeah. like commanding everyone else to also hunt him down and it has like the uncle Ben scenario. Of he wants to save his parent, but at the same time, everyone's telling him, if you do that, you're going to fuck up the whole world. Every single one of our universes, like, it's going to go to trash because of you. Now, do you think they're going to have another villain in it? The spot? He's going to be the villain, and then Miles will somehow use him to his advantage, like, use his ability. Be in different places at the same time. Not to, like, possibly spoil if I'm anywhere close, but I think him being the villain and being pushed as the villain, he's really going to be the solution to the issue of the movie. That's just my idea. But, yeah, I think he'll start as the villain. They'll go into 2099 turning on him because he can't agree with his choices and somehow Miles proving everybody wrong. I think it's going to end with him using Spot's ability to get mm. away and then that'll lead you to part two. Yeah, so that kind of could even be from there. Like maybe he does prove everybody wrong and then they were kind of right and then it sets off a chain of motion to set up the next movie. Could be something like that. What know. do you think of the suit though? Because they finally gave a good look at it. Or cyborg? Um, Spider-Woman? No. 
So Miles, like actual suit. We don't talk about Cyborg Spider Woman, okay? Her action figure, full circle here, is like sixty five dollars. Yep, no that window. Is so absurd. No window. Though the retro packaging for this line, pretty great. I'm trying yep. to find the Miles at the minimum, but no Miles suit specifically. What do you think about? I guess it has a little bit of blue hints into it, kind of like a track suit. I think it's a good take on it. It's not too aggressively different. I hate when they try to like be too crazy with it. Like honestly, like I'm probably gonna get hate for it, but. The Spider-Man game suit where Mm. the logo is all white. Peter Parker's suit. I hate how like different that was. It's like too I changed much. that immediately as soon as I unlocked another one. Yeah, I don't know. I like when they stay somewhat true to the suit, or like if you're gonna make it a suit, make it like an alternate suit altogether. I mean, I'm hoping by part three we get Miles' classic suit with like the triangular webbing and all that. But mm. this one's a great evolution of his first suit, which was like spray painted. Which I hope he doesn't spray paint in this movie. I hope that's just done. That was the only thing I didn't like about the first Spider Verse movie was the fact that he was spray painting. I just want to shout out Spider Punk because. Because that's one of the characters that I'm very excited to see on oh, the screen. Yeah. So excited to see what they do with it. Because it seems he has a figure. It seems like he's going to be some sort of pivotal role. Or at least one of the main Spider-Men chasing him or helping him. Can so. you imagine if we get spinoffs out of this movie? Like a Spider-Gwen spinoff. It's not even about jumping multiverses. Just like her origin. Spider-Punk's origin. Like how cool would that be? Honestly, based off the comics, just Spider-Punk alone. The artwork mm-hmm. from Cody Ziegler's run could be awesome on the screen with the... Right. The Whole kind of that. art that style that they use yeah so even if they do something a little bit more similar to like the ninja turtles art style that they did yeah no i'm excited to see kind of what transpires from all this well with some other spider news i don't mean to you know kill the mood being we're so optimistic about all the spider-man talk the bad bunny spider-man spinoff has halted production and probably is going to not <laughs> come to be you really had me there you had me in the first half <laughs> i i really thought oh. you were gonna hit me with some like serious news out of nowhere mm-hmm. but yeah yeah, as it should be. They can go somewhere with Batgirl. And being you're bringing up DC, why don't we move to that and then we'll go back to more Marvel trailers. It's just a trailer episode apparently, but did you see the Blue Beetle trailer? Do you feel better because you've talked shit before and you're going to do it again? No, you got me. This is looks good, right? Probably one of the best things coming out of DC. Yeah. Not to say the Flash trailer wasn't good. So Yeah, if we're judging off by trailers, I, I, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited for that movie, but this was a great trailer yeah. for Blue Beetle. Like the music, the vibe. I don't know how good the movie is going to be. Hopefully right. it's not just a really good trailer. I could see where it might have like a flat story. Like it might not be a creative, again, judging off of a teaser, not even like a full trailer, but the setup for it was great. They show him like typical kid and instantly like the transformation was cool. Like the suit looks cool. Him going to the space immediately was cool. George Lopez yeah. freaking the fuck out was great. Like all of that. Yeah, I liked but, how the suit was more of like a Venom type suit, like the way it covered him. I had a coworker call me off. and say, who's stronger, Blue Beetle or Iron Man? And I was like, first of all, that's Marvel and DC and they never fought before and he's like okay that's not what I asked he's like who would win I'm like Blue Beetle actually DC has some like way overpowered and then ground level and I think Blue Beetle's almost like you said if Venom was Iron Man it's alien but it's all tech and it could do anything protects itself just like Venom like yeah yeah. it's gonna be cool to see what they do with and just the sword scene when he created the sword it's like if that's like the least creative thing or just like the top creative thing everything in between should still be really cool to see that's a good way of putting it the Venom Iron Man combination. He just doesn't have the wits, but I don't think he needs it because I think yeah, he's just so overpowered. The symbiote, so to speak, has that mm. mindset for him. It's like a, it's a it's scarab. Don't AI. Okay, before we get hate on TikTok, it's oh, a yeah. scarab. Yeah. Next trailer in the line, the Marvels trailer. Completely yes. unexpected on how good this looks. All right, hold on. Before we go further, Blue Beetle mm. or Marvel trailer? Which one's better? Blue Beetle or the Marvels? Which trailer has me more excited? Which one was better? I think Blue Beetle was the better trailer but i think the marvels has way more potential to be a better movie as a whole erase the superhero part of it just as the basis of being a good movie i think the marvels probably will be a better movie yeah i think so too i think it has a few more layers to it you have three established characters one that we love one that we love and one that we don't care about although we'll start right from that captain marvel seems to have a much more relaxed demeanor a joking kind of demeanor from the trailer again it's a teaser Kind of just speculation, but instantly more likable of a character just for them allowing the actress to probably be more of herself than whatever they made her be in her movie. Yeah, I think they're trying to get her 
less hate because I think she is probably on the top of the most hated superheroes that Marvel has. Yeah. And I don't blame the actress whatsoever. I think it's just straight up the directing. The style of movie they tried to do just wasn't quite right. Apparently, like <laughs> actors and actresses have come out that don't like working with her. Well, that's that's not fun. my story to tell. That's TMZ. <laughs> yeah. But the trailer as a whole, I mean, the little power swapping thing, which we got a hint of at the end of Miss Marvel. That's interesting. Every time they use their powers, they switch places. That's cool. I don't think we've really seen that before. And they're going to obviously have to figure all of that out. The villain. I don't know who it is, but if you want, I'll go to a wiki page and read it right now. Villain, if you notice, was holding Ronan the Accuser's staff. Yes. That's the only thing I got. But I, I think that right away. It's just his replacement. Mm-hmm. I just took his role in the status of the army or whatever. But the villain is Darben. Affiliation and relationships. Imperial Cree Army, Earth 616. It is a Cree origin. They're deceased currently in the comics, so probably going to go the same way. This is not English. This is all in Cree. What? First appearance, Silver Surfer, Volume 3, Number 53. August 1991. Death was in Avengers 345, January 1992. Did not have a long life in the comics. So that's possibly a hint that it's going to be a throwaway character or a comic relief villain and might not be the grand scheme of things and just like who they skirmish with in the meantime. Or they might just be fighting the Kree as a whole. Because if you look closely in the trailer, Dar Ben, who obviously is now female, is wearing the bangle. You get both bangles together. I don't know. You summon something. I don't really recall, to be honest. It was in Miss Marvel. You become Jin or something like that. And they uh, take over the world. They terraform the earth. There you go. That's probably what it is. Yeah. But then Miss Marvel's mutant. You didn't watch Miss Marvel, did you? Yeah, of course I did. No, you didn't watch all of it. I did. No, you didn't watch the ending. What do you mean? Yep. What? I don't think you yeah. watched the end of Miss Marvel. Yeah, I did. She swapped places with Captain Marvel. Yeah, that scene was Blasted in the trailer. Her door. That scene was in the trailer. Interesting fact about the trailer, though. Miss Marvel's father made an appearance. He had allegations <laughs> against him. So yeah. I don't know if they were cleared up or not or if it was previously filmed listen if ezra miller is staying as flash then he can stay in his because his was definitely far less of a headline again tmz we'll take that up The coolest thing out of the Marvel's trailer, I think, was just seeing the updated costumes. Captain Marvel's costume is more in line with her predecessor's costume, Marvel, kind of more just like color blocks, big star logo. I don't know, more fabric looking, if that makes sense, like less armored looking. But Photons, hers is very accurate to current comics. And then Miss Marvel, nothing crazy, but slight update to her costume as well. But seeing them together, actually, like it works. So anything else about the Marvel's trailer? It looks like it ties to Secret Invasion. The cat is back. I love the cat. Looks like there's kittens. It looks like there's a lot of yeah. Kree. The powers look cool. Nick Fury's in it. Yeah. Secret Invasion. Are we moving on to Secret Invasion? We can. Is that I don't your know way if there's getting there? too much to go on about it. But yeah, if you have any input, I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts. And I would just like to throw my little. No. Oh, OK. A little sprinkle of speculation. A sprinkle of speculation okay. and a little taste of theories. Mm. So that's what we're calling the segment. In the Secret Invasion trailer, he walks into a room. And by he, I mean mm. an outline of a man walking into a room Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. looking at a machine that looks very similar to the time traveling machine that the Avengers had in Endgame. Okay. So As we know, Avengers compound was completely destroyed by Thanos. The likelihood of that same time machine existing is slim to none. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's not to say I didn't recreate it at some point, because now that they know the technology, why wouldn't you have that in your armory? So the speculation is that the person walking into the room is Captain America. But I don't believe that based off of just looking at the outline a little further. It looks like it is a super scroll. You're talking about not my Captain America as in the Steve Rogers, correct? Correct. Steve Rogers, Mm. Captain America. Okay. But the only way that would be would be as if it's Steve Rogers from the past that got left behind and got captured by Hydra. Or it's just a scroll. And again, that's why I don't think it's that. If you look at the outline, it looks more like the Super Scrolls head. My idea is that he goes back in time and he goes to the 60s and that's where he gets the Fantastic Four powers. Oh, boy. Okay. So wait, let me process here. So you're saying Mm-hmm. For clippable purposes, you're saying in Secret Invasion, not only are we going to get shape shifting scrolls, we're going to get time traveling scrolls. And what the superest of the scrolls is going to do is time travel to the 60s to meet the Fantastic Four, which is a recent rumor that the Fantastic Four will take place in the 1960s so once again. And he's going to acquire their powers and then come back in the time machine and be the super scroll and have fiery, rocky, invisible, stretchy fists. That would be really fucking cool. Where else did he get?
get those powers from? We haven't been introduced to them at all. You can't just all of a sudden he has their powers. So my fear, though, is from the trailer, we see him extend his arm out and it turns into like tentacles, right? I'm concerned that all the scrolls have some kind of weird shape shifty power where they all can kind of make a tentacle arm like he did. Like their body's more like pliable that they can like pop wings out or something or I don't know. Maybe that's a stretch, but so I'm afraid they're going to just generally give scrolls some kind of powers and ruin what you just said, which would be really cool. Well, to your point, what if, yes, fine, they all have these stretchy powers. He gets defeated. He's like, no, we're not getting defeated. Goes back mm-hmm. in time, gets their powers, comes back, and that's how we move on from this. Or it just ends there. Like, he's going right. back in time. That can be even how the scrolls put themselves in places. That would be really deep and confusing. I want to go full in with your theory. I just think because of TVA and the time travel already exists, I can't see them doing it. I can see them maybe trying to get it. Maybe that's the whole point of the show is trying to stop the scrolls from getting time travel because then they're unstoppable. If you could shape shift oh, and the, travel. The TVA don't exist at this point. TVA don't exist at this point. He's in an alternate universe at this point. I think it's too complicated. I think you might be right that there's time travel. I just don't think they're going to achieve it. I think it's going to be the goal of the villain, which is the scrolls. That's mm-hmm. a strong possibility. I'm afraid that super scrolls are never going to happen and they're just going to give the scrolls some extra abilities. I've been right so many times. Just come on. You Come find on. leaks, which now they're going after the people who leaked that information. They're going to sue oh, them. That's not a leak. That is me and my own thought process. I can leak something that I read today. Okay, so it could be real. Spoiler for a possible leak. Pierre's been right before. This is the official leak from Pierre. Adamanium, it's a lot bigger than just being in Wolverine's claws. What are you saying to me? No, I don't understand what you're saying to me. You're saying vibranium is going to be countered with adamantium? Adamantium? Now you're making me say it wrong. You're saying that it's going to be like, oh, we found one better than your metal. And we put it on bones. There's a certain bangle and certain rings okay, that might be now, made out of the now same you're metal. Fucking stretchy. I do not believe that the bangles are made out of had a paint too. I do not believe that. I don't either, but this is the new rumor. People making stuff out. up now. People are making stuff up. That don't make any sense. If that makes sense, I don't know how they're going to make it make sense, but that is a rumor that's out there right now. And that's I mean, it for I, my rumor corner. I think that... Moving on. Angles- moving on. You got no comment. You can't talk about <laughs> it. We're just moving on. <laughs> All right. Fine. <laughs> Asher Angel, though, is being voted, I guess, by Twitter. They're trying to fan cast him as DC Superman. Isn't he really young? I don't like it. I don't even want a Superman. I want Supergirl. We're getting Let's Supergirl. Let's an Asher Angel picture right here. Right? Wait, Wait where, where would you put it in? Where would you put Over it your in? face, actually. I don't cover my face. I cover anyone else's face when I do that. Asher Angel as a farmer boy right here. I'm not going to Google that. <laughs> 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 uh, normal window. James least. Gunn said he wants a farmer boy type archetype for the new Superman. I don't believe that either. That's bullshit. Speaking of James Gunn, he apparently admitted to having a discussion behind the scenes of a DC Marvel crossover. Like he literally said in an interview, I'd be lying if I didn't say that we talked about it. Of course, it, someone probably was like, oh, now that you're here, we could probably do Marvel DC. I don't think they could do but it that, now. I wouldn't want to see it. No, DC would have to be very established. Like my thought is when Marvel's at the end of its ropes and DC like had say five to 10 years establishment and MCU yeah. is just like bunch of crap because they just run out of ideas. Yeah, that would like, be the right, time to do it. it. Yeah, get like anyone who's willing to reprise a role that was a popular character from Marvel and anyone from DC that was current. It could be in like an Elseworld movie that didn't make sense, but just bring them all together. Don't necessarily say where they came from. If they're like, oh, well, that Superman died in Superman 5. Well, whatever. He's from a different universe where he didn't die. And like, just mush it all together and just give us this crazy nonsense movie. That'd be something in our lifetime, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully not. But yeah, sure. No, I mean, at the end of the rope, when we really like... When I'm like 90, it's like... is nice and that's it that's the last movie and i die you realize at that point movies will be completely made by artificial intelligence please make me a dc marvel crossover movie and instantly the ai of every actor who've ever portrayed them will be done and the movie will be done and posted and yeah we'll just be making our own yeah. movies we won't even go to the movies we'll just type in what we want to see and we'll see it probably why they paused ai creation no across the galaxy far far away Okay, weird segue. Right. I like it. Okay, keep going. Let's I'll cross a galaxy far, far away, away from your Marvel bullshit. <laughs> okay, <better>. bullshit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the Ahsoka trailer. 
orange lightsabers. Yeah, looks fucking sick. Yeah, when she so throws the dual sabers into the ground and then spins them with yep. the force. Seeing the back of Thrawn's head and the little hologram. Did you see the little hologram? There's not a lot of Jedi's out there. Little mm-hmm. hologram. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. who that was? Ezra Bridger. Bought the action figure, obviously, because it was in your hand. But did you buy the mm-hmm. first appearance in comics or no? You did. I don't know what the finger jiggles mean. I don't need you to pull it out. A yes or no would have been sufficient. I don't remember where it is. But yes, I did buy it. <laughs> okay. That was <laughs> dramatic pause for no reason. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. No, I did buy it. I bought it. So that, I bought two copies, two different oh, versions. Oh, so that's obviously up in value. That's cool. Good job. Nice speculating right yeah, there. I knew it. I mean, it was just a matter of time. Probably was the coolest trailer of any Star Wars trailer ever. Like, just so many lightsabers and, like, just new characters that look insane. And not as cool as Jack Black being part of Star Wars now with Lizzo. I thought that was great. I know a lot of people hate it. I liked um, it. It was a little comic relief. I'm cool with it. Yeah. No, I think he did a great job. And Lizzo's actually a very big fan of Star Wars. So it actually makes sense. Could they have given them characters that will return and not just be like comic relief? Maybe. But still down with it. I like no, that's it that's all i needed i thought the episode was really cool actually now that you bring that up it felt like a law and order i like had futuristic law and order episode. oh yeah a little bit uh, yeah and i loved how like the caution tape came out i would like to see that in real life like that's so cool <laughs> stand back stand back don't like the way grogo moves yeah that'll never feel okay <laughs> it's just a little too puppety anyway not fond of that but other news out of star wars no shut up star wars visions volume two what how is that what you're excited about it's another other Star Wars news thing, man. This is trailers. How did you not watch the trailer? I didn't love the first season. Well, you're going to love the second season. Why? It's all characters we've never heard of, no? Season one visions was more just like own little short stories and like artist renditions of like a Star Wars story season two brings in characters from star wars lore like if you're someone that reads the books follow some of like the written stuff oh. you'll actually see some more canon stories within that so it's kind of cool okay but you read a star wars book before right i'm big into star wars books yeah that's my thing i did buy a few of the high republic ones and i never read any of them so yeah that. yeah i know we try to pretend that we care about this stuff you can't read everything yeah okay? we like watching things we like opening our eyes and just oh no no not no no ab- you not absorbing information you take yourself down here words. i read every day there's just too much to read audiobooks is not reading kyle okay now <laughs> now you've offended me no <laughs> comic books i read at night digitally and audiobooks i listen to in the morning how dare you <laughs> ray will return in a new oh film. that was your big news that was the one that you wanted to say our last movie supposedly starting a new Jedi movement. Are you excited for that? Let me tell you why I'm a little excited. I think they're pulling a Donny Cates. And when I say Donny Cates, it is a let's take the mess that someone else made and clean it the fuck up and then make something really, really cool that's better than the last mess. I think The Mandalorian Season 3 is hinting at explaining cloning, where cloning took place after the Clone Wars, what was going on with this behind-the-scenes black market cloning with the secret empire spies traitor shit i think mandalorian is cleaning up the cloning for the sole reason of cleaning up ray being a palpatine clone or daughter of a palpatine clone i think that's what mandalorian is doing for the purpose of making a ray movie 15 years in the future be something that we want. It was a weird thing to go from no hints at cloning to the big reveal she's a clone in the third movie of the trilogy. And I think that Mando is going to give us enough hints to fill in the gaps and then we're going to get this great Ray redemption movie. Do you like it or are you upset? I don't know, but you're very close to the microphone and I'm afraid how loud you're going to be. <laughs> I think you're right. Mm, and that. I think I just realized because my biggest issue with this before you started talking and I mm. almost interrupted you almost. was that 15 years in the future, none of the characters that I care about are going to exist. They're all going to be gone because they're just going to get old. But you know who won't be gone? I was going to get to that point, but I'll let you say it. Baby Grogu. And what will he be old enough to wield? His penis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if they even have them, whatever his species is. We don't even know if he talks in backwards or Yoda was just an asshole who just decided he was going to, well, I'm the last one. I'm going to talk this way. And everyone's like it. I think, yes, it's, it seems that Star Wars now, after the last trilogy, has said to themselves, hey, let's just give the fans exactly what they ask for. Like exactly what they want. Let's just 
do that. So yeah, I think that the Ray movie has extreme potential to have Grogu not only hold a lightsaber, but also be wearing a Mando helmet. Just straight up Mandalorian Jedi with little green ears popping out of the side of the helmet. I think you're wrong. He doesn't no. wear a helmet. No, you don't think he's going to get a helmet? I think he's going to have a helmet. No, I think that's the whole point of like they're all going to start taking off their helmets. I don't think they're necessarily going to all start, but I think some will. I think they're just going to yeah. get rid yeah. of the really so think... things so he can take it off. Yes. But you might see it like just sitting there. It'll look stupid on camera as much as you think it looks cool. Think about how stupid little chess piece they already gave him look. Why was it a circle? Why was it so round? Why was it so big? <laughs> <laughs> it's like here. Here's a plate we had left over. Just put it in oh. your shirt. <laughs> yeah. at her like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with it? Yeah, like, it's, there's it's, no food in this plate. It's not even conformed to his body. And he has chainmail like, already. Yeah, he has a chainmail. Now he has this around me. <laughs> He's just like, I guess if I get shot dead center in my little body. <laughs> And it's just funny because he just jumps around the way he jumps. And it's like it has all these pieces jumping. of armor on him now. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. That's why he walks so no. slow and stupid. <sighs> him jumping the way he jumps bothers me. But anyways, he's cute and I love him. I'm going to go watch that episode right now. Actually, I'm going to too. But yeah, I mean, the other little news that came out of some of this is the actress who portrays Ray, Daisy Ridley, said that older scripts actually said that she was supposed to be Obi-Wan's daughter and they changed it later on. And I'm like, did you change it right before the third movie? Because that kind of makes sense because there was no hints towards the stupid Easter egg yeah. he gave us there. Talks of a Lando TV show, which would be cool because Donald Glover's fantastic and everything. Another yeah. rumor, Pedro supposedly has a little disagreement with Disney and might be phased out, which is why we're seeing more of Bo-Katan. But that is, again, just a rumor. Not to be concluded yeah. with the biggest and best rumor of all, which is not really a rumor. It's just more so the way the interview went and hinted at it. But Dave Filoni said that all of the shows and Star Wars movies that are planned moving forward do have intention to tie together into some kind of Avengers endgame level. And it's all with the idea of the heir to the Empire. So mm -hmm. Thrawn is kind of Thanos. And all of these movies and shows, although the times are kind of different places, will kind of pull together. So like you said, if say Mando is too old, by the time that kind of heir to the Empire movie happens, we'll have Grogu at least. And we might still have Ahsoka. I don't know how her species ages, but you know, like there'll be remnants of mm -hmm. every show kind of getting to I this call it out now? Do it. I think Thrawn comes, everyone's fighting. Ezra comes out of nowhere, sword down on the ground, and he's just like, let's fucking go. And he's been out there far in the galaxy, just training, meditating, mm. and he's just different. Just different. So I know nothing about that character besides the fact that his lightsaber has a gun built into it. It's going to be crazy. I think he's going to be your Captain America wielding the hammer moment. Hell yeah, oh, panel loiters. If you like this, comment below. We want to see your comments. Let us know what you feel whenever you're feeling it because we want it uh, never mind take and, that one back and be respectful because i do put the potential filter <laughs> for comments on because some of you haven't been so nice all right Penalize podcast Penalize podcast <laughs>